Mahashivratri is of both spiritual and scientific significance. Shivratri means the fourteenth day of every month, that is one day before Amavasya or the no moon day. There are twelve to thirteen Shivaratris in a year. Of all the Shivaratris, the Shivaratri that appears in the month of Magha during February, March is known as the Maha Shivaratri or the great night of Shiva. In the northern hemisphere on this planet, on that day, there is a natural upsurge of energy within the human system. Every life form experiences a certain upsurge of energies within themselves. This upsurge of energies can be truly made use of only by those creatures who have their spine erect. Our fortune of being human is, we are the only species here who have graduated to that level of an erect spine. If you look at the evolutionary development of various species, you will notice that moving from invertebrate to vertebrate is one significant step. And another significant step in the evolutionary process is a spine moving from horizontal positions to vertical position. The true development of the brain happened only after the spine became vertical. As in Mahashivratri night, there is a natural upsurge of energies, keeping the spine vertical throughout the night has immense benefits. It is of great benefit, particularly to those on the spiritual path, but this is also significant for people who are in family situations and also for the ambitious in the world. For those on the spiritual path, for the yogis, this is the day when Shiva transcended all the movement within himself and became utterly, absolutely still. On this day, his third eye opened and his perception blossomed. What we are saying is these two eyes are sense organs. They can show you the physical realities around you. But if you want to see the basis of this reality, if you want to see the subtler reality which is beyond the physicality of nature, if you want to know this, you need another dimension of perception. The dimension of perception which is beyond the physical is known as the third eye. So this is the day which facilitates your journey towards the opening of your third eye or a deeper dimension of perception within yourself. Everything that happens to the solar system happens to you in some way. Mahashivaratri night, there is a natural upsurge of energy. If you lie down, you could also harm yourself. So, that night we have a celebration, somewhere around six crore people could be watching. Sadhguru, you speak so logically and it makes sense to me. Um, but at the same time, you're celebrating the religious festival of Mahashivratri in a grand way at the Isha Yoga <laughs> Center. For a young person like me, these religious festivals seem um, like outdated rituals. So I want to know, what is the relevance of Mahashivratri to the youth? Thank you. What kind of festival would you like, first of all? <laughs> Maybe only the Valentine's Day or something? That is also religious, it's Saint Valentine, all right? So what is Mahashivratri? You need to understand this. There are certain… in India, there are 365 festivals in a year. Yes, today due to economic reasons and the way we have structured our work and things, a whole lot of them have died, still about thirty to thirty-five are being actively Maybe more than that, about fifty to sixty festivals are being celebrated by different people, but that number also is decreasing. Largely maybe about five or six are being celebrated in a big way. So some of them are social, 
a few of them may be religious but hardly any religious ones. Some are all connected to the calendar. Almost every Indian festival is connected to the calendar. What's happening in the solar system? We want to do something which is conducive for what's happening that day in the rest of the solar system. Why this is important is because what you call as my body right now, what is human mechanism, is… has come out of this planet. Most people don't get it till you bury them. They think they came from somewhere. No, this body is… solar system is working like a potter's wheel to generate this. So everything that happens to the solar system happens to you in some way. So there is a very keen observation of what is happening in the solar system today. Accordingly, we have crafted one kind of celebration and we do those specific things. So on Mahashivaratri night, to cut it short, because this is an elaborate subject what you opened up, on that day, which doesn't fall on the same calendar, you know, the regular modern calendar date, on that day, there is a natural because, you know, planet is not spinning like this, it is spinning a certain way and there's a precision to the planet. You know what's a precision? Hello? No, not precision in terms of uh, exactness, I'm talking about what is precision in terms of the planet. The planet's axis is not simply rotating like this, it is going like this. It is a wobble, there is a wobble to the planet always. Because of that wobble, it creates a certain kind of situation on the planet. So on that day, especially in the northern hemisphere or only in the northern hemisphere, there is a natural upsurge of energy. There's a natural upsurge of oh, all this energy I don't believe, you don't. Just go sit on the coast. If there is a full moon night, is the ocean rising? Hello? So on your moon day, full moon day, do you see that oh, the very ocean is trying to rise? Well, over two-thirds of your body is water. What makes you think body… water inside the body won't rise? All the fluids in the body are also rising. So you will see these b things are there everywhere if you are in a… if you have ever been in a mental institution. No, you could have gone there just for… You will see on full moon days and new moon days, people take extra care because those who are psychologically disturbed become far more disturbed. People think moon causes madness, that's why lunar and luni and all this stuff. Moon does not cause madness, it just pulls everything up. If you're a little crazy, it makes you more crazy. You're a little loving, it makes you more loving. You're a little meditative, it makes you more meditative. Whatever is your quality gets enhanced because it's kind of… there's an upsurge in the system. This particular day, after the solstice happens in December, 22nd of December is the winter solstice. After that, the planetary precision is such that there is a natural upsurge on that particular night in a very big way. If on that night, if you lie down, this means when the energies are trying to move like this, you're kind of obstructing it. It is not only that you lose the benefit, you could also harm yourself in… in a very sensitive way. All these things matter to you only when you want to be a full-fledged human being. When I say a full-fledged human being, you want every faculty that can be opened up in the home, human being, you want it to be opened. Not if you are that kind, by evening you're drunk and sleeping, what is there also you want to kill it, that's up to you. But if you want to be a full-fledged human being, you want full-scale everything happening to you, you observe all these small, small changes that happen in the system and take care of that. So you want to sit straight, you want your spine to be erect on that night. When energies are moving upward, you want to help it further go up, not like this. So, we created what is called as jhagaran, that means to stay alert and to stay erect. How to keep people erect? Just make them sit. You think they will? If I make you sit for another five, six hours, you will simply sit? No, I have to entertain you <laughs> Hello <laughs> So, that night we have a celebration from evening six to morning six, twelve hours non-stop, music, dance, meditation, various things being done so that everybody stays alert. 
Nearly a million people are in one place, but these numbers were exploding. So now we have large screens in over 130 cities across the country in southern India, so that people gather there and too many don't come here, but still it'll run into somewhere around 700 to 800,000 people in one place. And over 86 channels are telecasting it live. So how many millions of people are watching, we don't know. Last year they said it could be somewhere around six crore people could be watching. This time it's going to be much more. So it's grown that big because people find the benefit of what it is. You do one thing on that night without getting drunk or drugged, just sit alert. You don't like celebration, so you simply sit like this. It's up to you <laughs> So you need to understand this. A human being needs celebration. If celebration has to happen in your life, you need some sense of playfulness, otherwise there's no celebration. Most people can celebrate only if you get them drunk. I will show you a million people in one place, not a drop of drink allowed anywhere, but you will see full night, not one person will sleep, everybody's on, 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 okay?